Hello, welcome to EcoSmart. I'm Missy Tuttle. On today's show, we're gonna take a look at all the changes going on at the Tallahassee Mall. We'll go on a tour with commissioners to see all the new things coming this way. And we'll take a closer look at the way they're recycling and reusing various aspects of the building. So let's take a look. Commissioner Maddox, can you tell me what your thoughts are on this project? What's outstanding is redevelopment. You have 100 acres in our urban core, mostly impervious surface uh, and, and a dying business model. I'm so glad that we've attracted this company. They see something in our city that they want to invest all these millions of dollars in. We're going to have a great venue here. Tallahassians are really going to enjoy it. on this overall project and what they're doing here? Well, from a sustainability perspective, you have to know that I love it. Um, I like the approach uh, to construction, which is a rather than a demolition where you just tear everything down, it's a careful deconstruction of the building to keep in place those features that are special, like the food court, uh, some of the high ceilings and some of the special uh, glass windows they're keeping because of the look of it. So I like that approach and then I like the idea that the parking lot is being created utilizing existing concrete. They're milling it. Uh, they'll mill it, process it, and place that same concrete back in place. So I like the fact that they're using a sustainable approach. Commissioner Miller, what did you see on the tour today? I saw the Tallahassee Mall. <laughs> I saw the Tallahassee Mall the way and I can still see the way it was. We're right now standing in the middle of Dillard's where I shopped quite a bit and then I saw, but it's so changed that you can really conceptualize what it's going to be. I think the public is going to be thrilled. For me, it's very special to see this place being reborn. Um, and with everything they're going to add here between the new stores and the new retail and a 6,500 seat covered amphitheater, and this brickyard concept of an almost um, House of Blues type place, this will be a very special place for Tallahassee to have. It's a beautiful project, and so seeing this mall, um, I guess, redeveloped is exciting for Tallahassee. I think one of the coolest things I saw was the roadways that are being cut in the middle of the mall to carry you from one area to the other. I really like that feature of the mall. I mean, it, it, it's just, they've thought of everything. They've thought of ways to incorporate local businesses, to grow local businesses. They've added light and open space to the mall. Um, they've got a really interesting traffic pattern driving through the old mall corridors. I mean, it's just, it's really something. And, you know, I remember as a small boy when Tallahassee Mall was built and what a big deal it was then. This is going to be even a bigger deal. With the city of Tallahassee's mobile app, Digitally, reporting issues to the city is simple. See graffiti? Just snap a photo. And send. See, snap, send. Visit the App Store or Google Play to download Digitally today. Hey, Bruce. Hey. Hi, I'm Missy. Hi, Bruce Benton. Nice to meet you. Thank you. It's nice to meet you, too. Now, I was here a few weeks ago when the commissioners took their tour, but there's a lot has changed. What's going on? Well, we're moving very fast, and the things that we presented to you guys at that tour are exactly what we're continuing to do, but there's a lot of changes since you were here then. Definitely. Well, I'd love to see it. Well, we'll certainly take a tour in just a minute, just to give you a little bit of an idea. The entire center of Tallahassee, or the, the mall, 
covers from this area to here and all the way over here off the page. And what we've done since you were here is we've taken the roof section down of the mall concourse in this area. And this entire roof and this entire mall concourse right here is now open air. Wow. And so if you'd like to take a look, come on, let's get a hard hat and we'll have a tour. Sounds good. Let's go. Well, it definitely looks lighter without the ceiling on. Oh, yes. We've torn down about 175,000 square feet of the ceiling so far. Wow. So which way are we going? Let's go this way. As you come out here, you can see a little bit more about what you saw when you were here at the commissioner meeting, but this is where we're finishing up the last part of our underground utilities. Okay. And we have completely reserved all of the infrastructure to this side of the mall with the all new underground utilities with the, meeting the latest codes and the latest technology. And you've already done quite a bit of work out in the parking lot. What have you done out there? Yes, we've uh, created the roadway from John Knox uh, as it progresses all the way down to the center of Tallahassee. And if we can walk this way, I'll show you more about it. Okay, sounds good. So as you can see from the utilities, then we advance to being able to build the roads. And we have a new roundabout that takes us all the way up to John Knox. Our traffic study showed us that John Knox was going to be the main entrance into the center of Tallahassee. So we built this rather large traffic circle to be able to handle the traffic in a very safe manner as they come on in and come into the property. So this is the main entrance to the mall? Yes. Or will be? It'll be a very active entrance, uh, and we will have uh, so many neat things that will be that will be part of what we have right here. Uh, this building right here will be redesigned into a uh, large anchor tenant, restaurants and small shops. Uh, what you see over here, uh, some of that area is still yet to be taken down, but then that will all be storefront shops and restaurants right across through here. Okay. Uh, as we move on down across, this used to be the back of the mall. I did notice that at the entrance you have a roundabout, which is something the city of Tallahassee is putting on many city streets. So that's pretty neat. I like that you're incorporating that in here. It is really neat. And when you have a lot of traffic coming into or leaving a property, the roundabout becomes a very safe way for people to be able to get in and out. So what's next? Well. We are in the process of wrapping up the exterior of some new shops that face toward John Knox. Uh, we also have a food court that uh, is in the center of those shops and all of that, the food court opens into the mall concourse. So we're eliminating the old food court that was over here on this side. Okay. And we're creating a new space for that and then we created a new food court here. Can we go take a look? Sure. So what are we looking at here? Well, here we have what we call the John Knox Facing Shops in conjunction with the new entrance to the new food court. Okay. And one thing that we felt was very interesting about this building is it had this beautiful old brick. And our engineers and contractors told us it would be much cheaper just tear off that wall and just rebuild it back with metal studs and ephus or stucco. But what we wanted to do is we wanted to preserve the character and the integrity of, of the old Tallahassee. And this is part of it. And that's really the things that we're really trying to accomplish here. So was it really difficult to put those windows in to bring that design throughout in all this brick? It was time consuming and the contractor said it was very difficult. <laughs> well, it looks really good. So what do we have next? Well, if we can, we can walk right over here to toward the music alley and Sounds the arena good. alley, where you will be able to see where we're gonna have the lifestyle center and the entertainment complex. So tell me, 
about the things that you're, you guys are recycling out here? Oh, well, what we're walking on, for instance, this road base material is actually the crushed concrete that came from the floors and the foundations and the concrete block that we took out of the property. So all from inside? All from inside and from outside, and we crushed that right here on site so we did not have to haul any of that off and haul any of it back. We, we had all of this recycling process take place on site, as well as the asphalt. If you can take a look at where we've paved now from John Rock knocks down to the roundabout, you can see the asphalt there. We milled all of the asphalt up that was on the project where we're doing all of our work and then that is recycled into new asphalt. That's great. We're also relocating a lot of the trees that are on the property. We have a very large tree spade, and we did not want to lose any of these precious magnolias and oaks and maples, and we wanted to just save that character and history with all of that trees that we had on the property. So are you guys planning to plant more trees as well? Yes. There are a lot of new trees in addition to the trees that we'll relocate that are on our landscaping plan. Awesome, so what's next? Well, let's go on down Arena Alley. Okay. Are you starving your recycling smart cart to death? So this is an interesting walkway. What is this? Yes, these are cobble pavers that is a roadway. And this is where cars will actually drive as they come down through the development because they have such a nice old world look and feel. And we wanted to do as much as we could to try to recapture old Tallahassee. Okay. So what are we looking at here? Well, this is the new entrance to the mall. We call this the West Entrance. This is something that we put together utilizing the aluminum and glass systems that we were able to recapture from other parts of the mall that we tore down. So reusing once again. Yes, cleaning up and it saves the cost of, of the aluminum and the glass and the transportation. Uh, and it just created a little bit more um, man hour time and being able to recondition it. But that's something that we also enjoy being able to do because of the, the people here that we're able to employ to, to help create what we're creating. Well, it looks great. So now I see the road continues on this way. Yes, this is Music Alley and as we progress on down the road, you would be able to look out toward the new amphitheater that will be over on the right. There's a, a brick house music club, a roadhouse and lounge that's being built in what was formerly the food court for the mall. And what's interesting is that this was all an inside mall corridor before we tore all of that roof system down. I know, it's so interesting to see that it's all open now. It's just... Yes, no need for light during the day and no need for the air conditioning and the other things that burn the energy. Uh, by being able to have it open, uh, we create a, 
a really new environment and where people will be able to walk down and enjoy a beautiful day like we have today. I can definitely see that that would be a huge impact on heating and cooling. I mean, you have all this space that no longer has to be heated and cooled. That's exactly right. And it really, the, the climate is so mild here in Tallahassee, it really just gives a great experience for people to come out and get exercise and to shop and to have dining and just to enjoy themselves. Right. Now I'm looking at this roadway and I'm seeing how uneven it is. What is up with that? Oh, well, the, the, the road itself is designed for drainage and it's designed for the storm that you haven't seen in your lifetime yet. <laughs> We're not just designing for the little drizzle that you might get in the afternoon during the summer. The 100 year storm and even the 500 year storm is something that we have to take into consideration so that the systems will be able to handle that type of a volume of water in the event of real high intensity rainfall. We have enclosed underground drainage systems along with subterranean French drain systems in a, in a drainage capillary underneath these pavers to be able to take the water and put it into the right watershed where it needs to go. It cleans it up and, and it, then it sends it off site in a very good manner. Interesting, so it's made that way to move the water. So what is that down there with all that glass on it? Where did that come from? That is a large skylight that was down where the mall concourse crossed from the east-west and north-south concourses. And we have taken that down in its entirety and we intend to reuse that as part of the roof system in the open air entertainment plaza. I just think that's great that you guys are reusing so much stuff. So what are we looking at over here? This was the former food court and it's now going to be the Brickyard Music Club. It will be able to have entertainment for up to 1,500 people. Uh, it will also have a restaurant, food, a roadhouse type of, of uh, business, and we intend to have that open for Labor Day. And I really like how you guys are reusing the brick that was always in the mall before, and it really fits in with the Brickyard. We, just, <laughs> we, we want to capture as much of old Tallahassee as we possibly can. This is really neat. So what's next? Well, let's move on down and you'll see a little more of what we're doing with the music alley. Okay. And sidewalks are on the left and the right. So you will be able to drive down through here in your car. And you'll be able to park in front of these shops that we have over here on the left. These will be restaurants and retail shops and they will work in concert with what we have with the entertainment pavilion and plaza over here on the right as well as the arena amphitheater. Now I know there's going to be a lot of people out here. Are you concerned about speeders on these? I mean I know how fast can you really go but have you done anything to work with that? Well the reason for the selection of these cobble pavers is because it is